you all. Let's go. At the end, but I want to see a lawyer. Big man, come on, I'm not going to hurt you. Don't be afraid. What are you doing? What is this? What's going on? All right, now bend down and put your other hand through your legs. What the hell is this all about? How am I going to work? I'll show you how to walk. Get going. the matter? Enough of your bullshit. We were following you and your buddy since the two of you got to the market. Come on, you must be out of your mind. I was just taking a ride on the bike, that's all. Just taking a ride, huh? All right, let's go. Give me your hands, we'll try these cuffs on for size. Well? 
Come on. You heard me. Quit stalling. Thanks for the bike. You son of a bitch! God, Julo, I don't know what the hell is the matter with you. They're laughing their heads off at the police because of what you did, you shithead. Come on, I told you I had to put the gun away so I could get the cuffs on, right? Christ, when you're putting the cuffs on him, you put his hands between his legs. How many times have I repeated that? You realize what you've made us look like, letting that punk steal your motorcycle right out from under you, huh? So what do I do now? I'll tell you what to do. You sit down and write over and over. I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole, okay? And write it nice and clear so everyone can read it. Oh, uh, Gargiulo, I have to make out that report. The Baron really got you in trouble when he took your motorcycle. And he's got his usual alibi. He's had himself put in the hospital again. I bet I know how, too. The doctor's a pal of his. You say he's been sick for a week or more. That's right. They say he's there since last week. Six of the patients are willing to testify, and one of the male nurses, too. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll get my hands on that son of a bitch one of these days. Commissioner, Giraldi, and you too, Gargiulo. Come up and see where the Baron said it. I'll say one thing for the Baron. At least he says thank you. Darcy didn't hear anything. He went out to get a paper and he found this in the courtyard. How do you like that? You know what we should do? We take Gargiulo here, put him next to the bike, take a nice big picture and write a caption underneath from one shit heel to another. What the hell do I care? I got my motorcycle back. That's what's important. Man, what an asshole. Listen, Trentini. Did your girl, Chanchike, what did he say? Oh, yes. He said he was pretty sure the Lira would go down again. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Come you know. On. <laughs> what do you expect? For him to tell us what fence he uses? Sure, why not? He'll never talk. You know that. Listen to me, Nico. You remember when the police caught you 20 years ago? Of course I do. You were just a kid. I scared hell out of you, remember? And you wouldn't tell me the name of that fence who was going to buy the watch and all those other things that you stole. I could never get the name out of you. Commissioner, you know, when you're in with those guys, you can't talk. I've been telling you, we've got to concentrate on those fences. Do you know what gets my goat? They never risk anything, those sons of bitches. They don't risk anything at all. They don't even have a police record. Don't you see? If there weren't any fences, what would the thieves do with all the stuff they keep robbing, eh? I know that. You just figure that out. Commissioner, we got to get our hands on the fences. The thieves are just small fry. Well, There's no other way, is there? Listen, Nico. My wife has prepared a nice meal for tonight. Why don't you come over and eat dinner? No, with us? no, I'm sorry, I can't. I've got a date tonight. Okay, another time. With regards to your wife, huh? Ciao. Happy birthday, honey. Nico, you remembered. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I did. What an angel. Guess how old I am today, Nico? Uh, 72. Yeah. But you don't look a day over 40. Ah, oh, come on now. You know I'm 10 years older than your mother. May have so rest in peace. We were best friends, your mother and I. Everybody thought the two of us were sisters. And we were two of the most beautiful B-girls anyone ever saw. That's true, Nico. You can ask any of the old-timers around here. I got this radio for you. It's the latest portable model. See, it's called Transoceanic. You just push this That's button beautiful. here, you can listen to any station in the world. Thank you. I bet you bought it, too. Mm -hmm. When you were a kid, you would have stolen it, am I right? Everybody called you the pirate. You were the best. You could have made your weight in gold, you know that? Instead, you decided to go straight. Everybody's got to pick out his own way of life. You're good looking, too. Anything the matter with me now? Huh? <laughs> I guess you're okay. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. I'm going to go and see Al. I don't want to know where you're going. Nico's from the police and he's gone straight. I'm not doing anything wrong. Yeah, yeah. I sell souvenirs to the tourists. Some souvenirs. Yeah, I know the crap you sell. But look out, eh? You start out that way, selling something worthless, and you rob a store, and then a bank. Hmm. Can't you go out and find a job? Find ciao. a job, yeah, yeah, ciao. Who is that, your nephew? What are you talking about, eh? That's my husband. We just got married in church three months ago. Married now? That's right, and he's jealous, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta give you credit, Mama Teresa. You remember this saying, the older they get, the harder they fall. Well, I've got a better saying for you. Use an old hen if you want a good broth. I'd like friends, to time for dinner. How come you haven't called? It's been over a month now. Even an important man like you gets some time off once in a while, doesn't he? In case you've forgotten, my telephone number. I know it. Here we go. Lieutenant Callahan? This is a message for Special Agent Nico Giraldi. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Up I would like to get my hands on you, you prick. Up yours. Up 
I'll You're... kill you, so help me God. I'm sick and tired of your calls. Officer Bandini reporting. I've been tailing the Baron for the last four hours. I'm at the Bar Olympia near Piazza Navona. I'm watching the front door of the building the Baron and Zagaya went into. I have a feeling they'll be coming out soon. Wait for me there, okay? I'll be over in a minute. Let me get a serpico. It's dinner. Come on, eat. Bandini, open up. It's Giraldi. right over. Mm -hmm. You sure it's the Baron? Yeah, I'm sure we'll catch him this time. That's the building over there. Hey, are you men going to be here very much longer? I'm tired to death, and tomorrow morning I've got to get up about five, you know? I can't get along on three hours sleep. What a pain in the ass. What do I care if he doesn't sleep? And besides, who's going to pay for your friend over there? He's had one brandy and six fruit drinks. He's eaten five sandwiches, 12 pastries, and four double bars of Swiss chocolate. Who's going to pay for it? You tell me. Who? It comes to over 10,000 lira. I didn't have time to eat dinner. I've been telling the Baron. What do I give a damn about the Baron anyway? And besides, my wife's going to be worried. I wouldn't mind if you could do something about the day I have to keep the bar closed, because now I have to close on Sunday. And for me, closing on Sunday is ridiculous. Why don't you keep For quiet? me, the ideal thing would be to close on Tuesday. Why the because hell don't the... you shut up and let us do our work? Sorry I didn't mean anything by it. You can stay in the bar as long as you want. Oh, a cappuccino. It's the same old thing. It's the same thing. You know, I thought we had the time. You and I could write better material than we had there tonight. Don't you agree, darling? What was that one about the last Oh, president? yes, that was one of the only good ones. What's what that? The... It's a rotten egg. The nerve of this. Who threw that? Come on down here. I'll show you how to throw rotten eggs. Did you think it'll come out? Hey! Police! They stole that woman's coat. Can we do something? Oh, the police! They stole that coat! I'm telling you, the best thing was not to wear a fur coat. Right. I don't wear expensive coats or carry a purse. You know what I did just now? I put all the things I had, jewels and watch, in my bra, and no one knows where they are. The only way. There they are. Well, I the told, told you, Baron. You, you, you should have tried again. I mean, I mean you, you, did, you did come to see it, didn't you? Okay, we'll go after them. Let's go. Where to? Want this out, Okay. Bro. Take a couple, come on. No, I should, because I might be sick. You saw it yesterday, Baron. You make a left turn when we get to the red light. We'll meet Ted Garber and Charlie Chan. Mario said that we're going to lead it to something good. Right, boss. First guy's Garber, the other's Charlie Chan. At 128 is a stolen car. Now, I'll bet they gave it to them for publicity. Here. Sorry, I don't have a light. I go. What's the matter? I told Why you to slow down. It's funny how I'm here. We're heading right... Towards the police station. Just keep on going. Don't worry about it. Will she be back by now? Oh, that's Don't a worry about thing. the license. I told I got to get a new one now. Don't you believe in turning on your headlight? Let me see your owner's papers and your license. Look, officer, I'm on a case. Don't make me waste time. I'm Special Agent Giraldi, and I'm onto something important. 
Then let me see your ID card. I just told you we've been following those men. It's important. I told you I wanted to see your papers. What's wrong with you? Do you like this guy? I just do my duty. Your papers. The two of you. All right, all right. What the hell are you doing? I didn't ask you to get undressed, uh, I did I? I my ID card. You asked me to show it to you. Good night. Thanks for the dinner. Come on now, is this all you got? What do you got down here? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I stopped you. But we can't take any chances, sir. You know that. We're carabinieri. I can see that. Help! Help! Are you happy now, crotch chucker? Come on, come on, you guys. Let's go. Somebody help me. Who are you? They're from the police. What's the matter, lady? They got away in their car. They beat me up. They have to sell everything I have. I'm down. Everything's all right now. Recognizes motorcycle. It's a son of a bitch, Geraldi. Come on, Chad. Oh, step on it. He's right behind it. Yeah, do those new. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Head north to the Vienna Montana. There, straight ahead. Come on. We can lose him. Let's get out of here. Landini, you get the man outside. I didn't do it, I swear. My lawyer's name is Mick Mick Take it, take it. There's plenty of time. All right? Fuck you. Big bag of bullshit. Howdy, Chan. Where the hell are you? What are we playing, hide and seek? You don't want to get me mad, do you? I might shoot. Come on, it's late and I'm tired. I want to go home. End of the line for you, buddy. I don't have my gun. Let's go then. I won't shoot. <laughs> I think you're pretty tough because you got a pistol in your hand, eh? Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's make believe I don't have it, okay? Hey, pretty scary. Who the hell are you, Sugar Ray? You bastard! Oh, 
You finished? Yeah, I'm through. Drop it, you're gonna get a hernia. Who's the fence you've been using? That's not my business. I don't know, I swear. I want to know who those fences are. I don't know, I swear. I tell you, it's the Baron who arranges that. He says it's none of our business. I only know one guy. He works in a dance joint called the Crocodile. His name's Capetta. Ah. Ah. When you behave yourself, you're a pretty nice guy. Okay, let's go. The stuff they stole was in the car. Hmm. Not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. You bring all this stuff here to the police station with these two while I go over to the hospital. Did you get hurt up there, Nico? No, but I want to try to get there before the Baron gets back into bed. All right. Get inside the car. Come on. Hey, hey, hey! I can't move! What do I do if I have to go to the toilet? Bed, you little shit. <coughs> Who is it? Saint Anthony of Friuli. <coughs> Don't you know your patron saint? Oh, my head's killing me, I tell you. You can ask any of the nurses if you like. I got 102 fever. Oh, my God, can't you leave me alone? Can't you see? The patient's in very serious condition. Uh, well, if he's in such serious condition, how come he was out of bed an hour ago? I'm sorry, you're mistaken. He couldn't leave here if he wanted to. Take a look at his chart if you like. He can't even get up out of bed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Well, yeah. for someone who can't get out of bed, his pulse seems pretty quick. Sure, his pulse is high because he's got nephritis. Can't you see? We have to feed him intravenously. Uh, one of these days, I'll feed him intravenously uh, uh, with a bit of cyanide. You look out too, buddy. Ciao, Mangigali. Aren't you talking? Don't you have anything to say? <laughs> Very funny. I heard you wanted to talk to me, that you were unhappy about certain arrangements, and that if you ever saw that brick Shelley, you were going to sing him a thing or two, eh? Uh, no, I... Uh... Come on, Andrea, now you're looking at that brick. <laughs> Don't you feel like singing anymore? I never said that about you, I swear. I just said it didn't seem right. Well, you know, I'm the one who told you about that deal. And it worked out good, didn't it? Five million dollars. I did all the work in Milano. I took a big risk, too. A hundred thousand dollars seems like, uh, too little, right? Well, I was hoping I could get a little more, sir. Uh... <laughs> That's too much for a son of a bitch who complains all the time. Now, I'm the one who risks plenty with a, a creep like you in circulation. No, Mr. Shelley. What are they going to do? No, no. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Please. Get it, Dad. Tell them to leave me alone. They're all lies. Please, Mr. Shelley. Stop them. I don't want to die. Let me go. No. No, please. Let me go. Please.
Throw him in the riverbed under the Flaminio Bridge. He'll be just another dead body. Rome is so full of them now, they... They don't even make the papers. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, I wouldn't mind having a dog, you know. What kind? Oh, a German Shepherd, a Doberman. Really? It wouldn't be easy for me living alone. Yeah. Can you see me bringing it to the office? I wonder what the boss would say. Signorina Catano. Yeah? I'm Special Agent Giraldi from the police. We met in front of your house, remember, the other night? Oh, yes, of course. You're the policeman who caught those four crooks, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I was kind of upset that night. If I could have, I would have stayed there to help you. You know that. <sighs> Are those men waiting for you? Yes, we work in the same office. We only have half an hour for lunch, so we usually go down the street and have a snack. You mean the place on the corner? Yes, the food's pretty good. I don't want down this way where the food's terrible. <laughs> All right. See you later, okay? Okay, yeah. We're publishing important books right now. Essays, monographs on art, a big book on modern history. But the most special thing we're coming out with now is a series on Thomas Mann. Thomas who? Thomas Mann. Well, maybe you don't really care much about literature. Well, actually, I don't get to do much reading. You know, I'm sorry. I really haven't thanked you yet. It was because of you that I got back all my jewels. I'd like... I'd like to pay you back. Well, I think I know a way how. I'm all ears. You know, most of the time, all I eat is something out of a can. Then you'd like a meal, hmm? I'd like an invitation to have a meal at your house tonight. Why don't we say around 9.30? Please, I would like you to come to dinner, sir, at my house tonight. I'll be there at 9.30. What happened? They stole his place, didn't you see? They got away in a motorcycle. Mr. Shelley, are you all right? Why don't you come inside? No, I'm all right, thank you. But we should telephone and report this to the police, sir. The number is 113. No, no, it isn't worth it. There was nothing important in the briefcase, sir. Some personal effects, documents of no value. Uh... Why don't you listen to me, Mr. Such Shelley? You should come back into the hotel and lie down. No, 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 thank you. Let's call thank the police. You. Says he doesn't thank you to... all. Hmm. That's funny. I wonder why. I think you should report it anyway. Huh, I do too. That's what the police are for, isn't it? Wow. How much is that? Five million dollars. What's that in Lyra? Over four billion lira. What the hell we do with this kind of dough? Hey, Baron, this dough must be hot. I think we ought to burn it. Yeah, Tell's right, you know. This dough's got to be laundered. The best thing's to grab a couple hundred thou, give the rest to the police. Now, what the hell kind of talk is that? You might as well take the whole five million if you're going to take a hundred thousand. Use your head, Jeepo, will you? There might be a way we can change this money in small, odd lots. Not around here, in another city. The only thing I want you to do is stay out of circulation. And don't say anything to anyone. I'll find a good place to hide this money. And I want the two of you to stay out of sight for a day or two. I'll let you know as soon as there are any developments, okay? When do you want us to meet? On Monday. At the pool hall down near the park. What are you, his buddy? Are you kidding? I'll show you. Hold it, I'm a policeman. Are you going to listen or do I have to put you all in jail? Oh, did you hear? No, what were we supposed to know? We didn't know. Hey, for us? Yeah. Come on, you don't take care of him. You? You're just going to let him out just in the weekend. We have two minutes for this guy. We'll be back on the street. Sure. Throw him in the anyway, I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. I'll teach him a lesson. Yeah, that will make sense. You should light a candle to St. Andrew the Buffalota. Who's he? The patron saint of sons of bitches like you. Yeah, that cut his hands off. He won't go to jail. Yeah, 
Okay. Listen. Now you tell me who your fence is, and I'll let you go. I don't know any fences. Then what do you do with the stuff you rip off? Give it to the poor? You really let me go? I swear it on the honor of your baby sister. It's called Tufaro in Viripetta, near the restaurant. Okay. I'll let you go. But if I ever catch you again, you won't get off so easy, pal. Now get lost. See you around. Forgive me, will you? Ciao. I'm sorry. By the way, what time do you have now? What time do you have? <laughs> Stop that. I wear it here now, not inside. What did you do before when someone asked you the time? Undress? <laughs> well, thanks to you, the dinner's all cold now, and the candle's burned out. That's okay. I don't need candles. Dagavalish, Sadim Pilot, Nastru Katore, and Buvishot, Rimetan Yeshin. Harasho, Moses is a glashki. That's Vidanya. Jesus, it's pretty weird to wake up with someone talking Russian. And what about someone who's got a wool cap on, three sweaters, and oh. socks in Technicolor? Trouble is, at night when I go to sleep, I'm afraid they'll turn off the heating. Poor love. Why were you speaking Russian? I speak Russian because the editorial company I work for has bought a work of Kunyakov's. It reveals many new things about daily life and politics in Russia today. The manuscript's being brought to Italy by a courier. I do all the arranging. Too complicated. Not really. I'm a literary agent. You mean an 007 who deals in books? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Uh, Want a coffee? Make it hot. <laughs> Coming up, sir. So am I. I gotta go. Don't you ever get a day off? Sunday today. No, something special's on today. I pick up Colombo and Gargiulo, and we go over to the stadium. Are you a soccer fan? No. I want to get my hands on a guy who leaves me funny messages on my answering machine. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> the trouble is, the gentleman I'm looking for leaves me 45 seconds of up yours, and that's not polite. Case you're stolen from the hotel Byron. I don't have it. The, the Baron's got it. All right, Chipo. You ready to talk, friend? Yeah, yeah. Now I want to know the Baron's name. What is it? 
1990. Aquila. His address, Chipo. I don't know. I swear. I don't know. Don't go in, Baron. There are four guys in there beating the hell out of poor old Jeepo. They want those dollars. We better get out of here. They're from the mob. Get in touch with Capeta. And then stay out of sight. Okay. You got me? Right. so thick you could choke a horse with it. I wonder how much he's got in here. He must have a secret pocket somewhere. Where the hell's the dough, huh? Ah, here you are. Pointy mill. Architect is he? He's probably a waiter. Advisory board, my ass. Come on, I want to know what the hell your name is, fat boy. Gaetano Bonsetti, bus driver. <laughs> you can't trust anyone these days, fat boy. This wallet's going right down the toilet. Okay? Attention, please. Attention, a special message for one Lando Rossi, alias Grota Ferrata, from Special Agent Giraldi. Do not attempt to throw the wallet down the toilet bowl unless you want to follow it. Over and out. Oh. Oh. Come here. Up yours, 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 up yours. Up yours. What's the matter? Can't you even take a little joke, Geraldi? I'm sick and tired of your lousy jokes, and I want to teach you a lesson. What are you excited about? I thought you and I were real old friends. Don't you remember the old days? Why should I do? Let's celebrate with a little drink, huh? <laughs> no, please! I've got an hour to eat! May I have your attention, please? The 
Mr. Gaetano Pozzetti come to the main box office to pick up his wallet. Mr. Gaetano Pozzetti, thank you. Someone walked off with my damn wallet, son of a bitchin' bastard! Say, what the hell's the matter with you, mister? Don't look at me! Up uh, yours, lady. May I have your attention, please? Will Mr. Nico Giraldi come to the press box as soon as possible to pick up an urgent message? Mr. Nico Giraldi, thank you. There he is. Hey, where the hell have you been hiding? I turned that guy who's been sending me messages on the telephone over to the Carabinieri. Hope he doesn't steal our wallets before they book him. Commissioner Totsi wants us to go to the Carambola pool hall. There's been a murder. We're not the homicide squad. Right. You know the kid? Sure I, I do. From where? I arrested him once, well, six months ago. He tried to steal a woman's purse down in Campo de Fiori. He got a year, but they gave him a suspended sentence. They should have thrown him in jail and kept him there. Listen, Trentini, we got a mess on our hands, I'm telling you. There weren't any witnesses. When those four killers got here, they kicked everyone out. Maybe the mob got to him for something he did. I don't think so. What would the mob have to do with a little crook like this kid? It doesn't tie in. Mm, I don't know about that. You never can tell. Well, yeah. what do you think? Who knows? Look, I asked you what you think. I don't know why you're asking me. It's obviously a case for homicide. What kind of an attitude is that? Come on, if you help out, there could be a promotion in it for you. You can't spend your life catching robbers, Nico. Well, it's what you do, right? You've been doing marvelous work. You know your way around. And besides, you say you want to go after the fences. It may have been one of those fences who murdered this kid. I think there's a good chance you're right. Come on, Nico, you knew this kid, g -Bo. Who did he work with? He worked with the Baron. Now we're getting closer. You think you could get your hands on this fella, this Baron? I think I know where to find him. Leave that thing here and come with me. Look, I can't right now. I gotta take a patient to the x-ray room. I'll give you an x-ray right now. <laughs> Are you crazy or something? What do you want of me? There he is, Dante Ranucci. Better known as the Bull of Trastevere. Now, he's a good boy. And he works for the hospitals around Rome. When he needs extra money, he makes a little more on the side. Peddling goofballs, am I right? Huh? <laughs> What are you talking about anyway, mister? I never sold amphetamines. Come on, don't give me any of that crap. We all know you're one of the biggest dealers in the city. Your cousin, the Baron, works with you. And to pay him back, you give him his alibi. His what? You want me to clean out your ears? Well, my cousin's a sick man, he really is. You're right. He's about to die. He is, what happened? I might as well tell you. Jeepo bought it. Jeepo, my God, the poor guy. He worked with the Baron, right? Yeah, when Zagai and Charlie Chan were arrested, they started to work together. Did the Baron come here? No, no, not for a while, I swear. Maybe he's hiding out because he knows it's his turn next. You know, he must have tried to screw under their fences. You must know the fences they worked with. Come on. I really don't know. Are you telling me the truth, or you want me to... No, no, think about that. I believe you. If you find out, I want you to let me know where the Baron is, okay? It's for your own good. But what's this business got to do with me? <laughs> He's scared shitless, eh? Here, come on. If you want to keep working here, you got to help me. I want you to level with me. Where's Otello hiding, do you know? His family's in Prenestino, but whenever he has to hide, he stays at his girlfriend's place. You know what her name is? Her name's Francesca. She has an apartment in Via Parioni. 80, I think. I'm not really in danger, am I? What can I do? Take some of these. They're uppers.
any of those men, sir. I'm sure. I'd remember if I had. I put the chain on the door and bolted it. But they were able to get in. They forced it. Otello sneaked down the stairs trying to get away. Did Otello know who those guys were? How on earth do I know? I hadn't seen him in two months. He asked me if he could stay here for a few days. He committed a robbery. You know, with that man. The Baron, right? Yes. They'd done something really big. He couldn't talk, he said, but I had the feeling it was important. Now, listen to me, Frances. Did Otello make any telephone calls while he was staying with you here at your house? Yes, last night. He, he telephoned this fella at a discotheque, a place called um, Crocodile. The man he was talking to was called oh, Capetta. Capetta. Yeah, that's right. Crocodile, the place is called. Uh-huh. I'm sure it was a crocodile. He didn't want to say anything else. Just said it was a big deal. Say, so can I use your telephone? Use mine. It's down the hall. Right, thanks a lot, senor. Hello? Ah, it's you. What a surprise this is. No, I'm sorry. I really have some work to do. Look, can't you put it off? I'd like you to do me a favor. Sylvia's very important. No, I don't want you to cook dinner for me tonight. You, you see, I, I can't explain it to you. Can you meet me later tonight? At a discotheque on Via Untani 222. Why at a discotheque? I can't talk now. Can you be there at 10.30? Great. I'll be seeing you there. I'm glad the police have some fun, too. exactly 18 years old, I'll bet. What makes you so positive? Because a friend of mine's got a kid nine years old, and he's about half as dumb. Dressed like a lady, but you're still a whore. We all know that. What do you mean? Come on, let's get a drink. I'm thirsty. Play along. I'll explain later. Get the money, will you? What are you waiting for? Come on. Oh, there. The gin fizz. Don't skimp on the fizz, will you? There it is. Listen, do you think I could have a Bloody Mary? I'll keep the Bloody Mary. Who told you you could drink? Remember, you got to get your ass to work at midnight. Uh, would you please pay now? Yeah. Pay as you go. Hey, you heard the guy. He owns his dough now. Let me have a pack of butts. You know what the big secret of dancing is? Move your ass. Move your fat ass. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? That was funny. You know me. I got the best sense of humor in this whole friggin' town. <laughs> I'm the funniest guy around. <laughs> Listen, it's kind of late. Do you think we can leave now? Hey, did I hear you? 
I'd like to leave it pretty late. What are you joking? You can't go away. You gotta go to work. They all be getting out of the nightclubs. They come out and they want some action. They want to get laid. What's the matter? You want some other hooker to take your job or something? Come on. You heard me. Move your ass, I said. Let me have some bread, will you? Come on, come on. Empty it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. The hell never get stuck with a loser like you, huh? Go on. Go on out there and hustle, you little bitch. She's a beginner. I'm breaking her in. She'll be okay in a while. I don't know why I'm in this shitty profession. I tell you, it's nowhere for a talented dude. Life is a whorehouse. May I? You wouldn't happen to have a match, would you, dear? Would you? Sure. Well, what were you saying? Ah, it just doesn't suit me. You see, I got some real good stuff I'm trying to deal, but I don't know where the hell to pitch it, man. The Baron once said he had a good one. The trouble is that I forget what the guy's name was, get me? You were friend of his, too, eh? <laughs> You're damn right, kiddo. For two and a half years, the two of us were in the same cell together in Naples. Where? Yeah, Naples. In the cooler. The Baron's... out of circulation. Can I be of service to you, my darling? You know, I'm looking for the right dude who can help me get rid of some real heavy-duty stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the Baron gave me this guy's name, but I forgot it. You wouldn't know who it is, would you? Uh -huh. What is it you're selling? Big ones. Uncut stones from a jeweler in Milano. When one of us has a big order like that, he almost always places it with Cavallaro. Bagalini's his real name. Come again? Bagalini's the name. He has a little shipping concern in Via Fornovo. Tell him I sent you. Mm, thanks a lot, your buddy. I'll let you know how it works out, okay? Don't worry about it. I'll get my cut from Cavallaro. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy you something to drink? I can't drink anymore. It doesn't matter. If you want to go out to dinner with me, we could get to know each other a little better. What do you say? Hey, cafe. I haven't swung that way yet. only 14 carats. The most I can give is 12,000 lira. It weighs half a pound. What, are you kidding? <laughs> give me 30,000 together with the radio. It's new, the latest model. You know I don't take radios. If you want to leave it, I'll give you a thousand for it. Well, 15,000 for both, okay? Man, you're a shithead. <laughs> I don't mind your vulgar language. Good thing I'm not your father. Do you want the money or not? Listen, we'll take your lousy bread. I wish your family burns in hell, you son of a bitch. Thank you, son. That's a lovely thought. In my day, young men had more respect for their elders. Come in, Baron. What can I do for you? Did you bring me any good stuff? The truth is, I have to get out of the country. I have some relatives in South Africa. What do you want me to do for you? Send you there by air freight? Look, it isn't funny. Did you hear about Jeepo and Otello? Yes, I heard something about that. But what's it got to do with you? I'm afraid we got ourselves mixed up with the mob. The three of us went and robbed some guy on Via de Notaris. A briefcase some American had who lives at the Hotel Byron. Well, what do you think we found inside? Five million dollars. Otello was right, poor kid. He wanted to take it right to the police, but I was a wise guy. Five million dollars? What, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
My goodness. And those guys are looking for me all over. I can't keep hiding this way. I've got to get away from Italy. You can help me, you know that. You've got all kinds of contacts, Cavallaro. You can change this money. Give me 50 million lira, and all of it's yours. What are you talking about? <laughs> that dough's a passport to the cemetery, right? Those dollars have got to stay buried for a couple of months before they can be spent, You huh? can do it. No. Where do you think I can find 50 million lira? If you want to, you can find it. Now, come on. At most, I could give you two or three million lira, that's all. <laughs> you're a fucking bastard, you know that? Ah, uh, yes, you're right. I might have a way. <laughs> I'll give you four million in cash and six million in traveler's checks. That's great. <laughs> Suppose those checks are stolen. How am I going to get them changed? Let me do it. Send you to the hospital. <laughs> what is this, the Bank of America? Look, I want to make it clear I don't know this man at all. I've never done any business with him. Who are you, Mr. Cavallaro? Pleased to meet you, sir. Oh! Confessed to organizing the whole thing, didn't I? And you have all the dough now. You want me to confess all over again? Christ's sake, what are you guys waiting for? Look, I won't feel safe until I'm in a cell. Baron, the man you stole this briefcase from, was he in the pool hall that afternoon? What do I know? I told you, I didn't even go inside that day. I beat it as soon as Otello told me what they were doing to Jeepo. It's obvious. That guy set the whole thing up. He didn't report the robbery. He told the porter at the hotel that all he had in the case were some personal things and documents of no importance at all. Because if he had reported it, he would have had to explain what he was doing walking around with all those dollars in his briefcase. You're right. He might have needed those dollars to get a shipment of cocaine or to pay off one of his runners. The serial numbers should tell us. I'm having a check run now to see if any of them are on record. I'm wondering, though, what do we know about this fellow? Not very much, sir. The porter at the hotel told me his name was uh, Norman Shelley. He's an American citizen. He's had the suite there for about a year, but he doesn't use it very much now. An occasional weekend. He usually comes alone. Typical hideaway, I'd say. Sounds like a perfect place for running his racket or getting his rocks off. Commissioner? Eh? I finished checking the serial numbers. Well? We're sure of it. It's the ransom money paid in the Zagary case. Exactly five million dollars. All in thousand notes. That's right, sir. The ransom was all in dollars. But Zagary was released over three weeks ago. It was a month ago. Huh. They even had the boy on a TV show. Poor Lotello. He told us right away that it was dirty money. Oh, yeah? Dirty money for you guys. But not for Mario Zagary. And we're going to make sure he gets it back. Wait a minute, Commissioner. For Christ's sake, if we give that money back to the Zagary family now, it's the worst thing we could possibly do. Why is that? Look, Commissioner, that money was going to a fence. He's just exactly the type of guy we've been trying to get our mitts on for at least six months or more. Oh, come off it, Nico. This is our chance. Come on, Geraldi. What's the ransom money of Zagari's got to do with fences? Use your head, Trentini. Look, what the trade calls recycling dough is exactly like working through a fence. When a fence takes stolen property and pays a third of its real value, it's the same thing they do with dough that's laundered. No? And I told you this once, you recall. I told you that as long as this type of guy is about, we're going to have robberies and kidnappings. And now that we have the opportunity to put our hands on one of these sons of bitches, we're just going to walk away from it, huh? Come on, what do you want to do? I'll tell you what. No one knows about the money except the five of us and our friend here, Wise Ass. The other one, Cavallada, is no problem. He's in jail, right? The Zagari family, they can wait for their money. They got their son back. They'll be okay. And that American, now I know that he's the one He's laundering all these dollars. You'll be sure that the dough's still with the Baron. What do I care? I'm in jail. You're in jail, huh? I want you to know you got a friend called Nico the Pirate who's gonna spring you. How does that grab you? 
Look, I got nothing to do with all this. I don't want to get it in the neck like Jeep or Nutella. Come on now, Baron. Just remember, you and I have got a few old accounts to settle, right? So quiet down now and everything will work out all right for you. But those guys are murderers, Nico. You'll be okay. You can count on me. As long as they think you've got their dough, they're not going to harm you. Believe me. Trentini. Yes, sir? We'll keep the money here for now. All right, sir. Listen, Nico. I'll go along with you even if I don't agree altogether. We've had two men killed, though. What do you say we pass the ball to the homicide squad? Come on, don't tell me you want to spend your life catching robbers, do you, boss? Ah, uh, boy, do I hate that feeling. Oh, Serpico just pissed all over my jacket. Huh? Serpico? Who's he? It's this little white friend of mine who likes to hide in his jacket. It's not his fault, you know, Commissioner. I forget to let him out. He's lost his father and mother. I'll be seeing you, boss. What the hell's wrong with you tonight? You've been stood up? I'm nervous. I can't stand being alone. Well, where's your little girlfriend? He's with another man tonight. Hey, you know a guy called Chiapetta? There he is, right there at the bar. Yeah. Is your name Chiapetta? <laughs> That's me, all right. Well, can I buy you a little drink? Yes. An orange crush would be very nice. A whiskey and an orange crush. It isn't that I'm difficult, darling. The thing is, I have an ulcer. I can't drink whiskey. Ah. Down over here. I'd love to. Hey, listen, do you know a guy everyone calls the Baron? The Baron, of course. He's one of my best friends. I'm glad. A few of us have been trying to find him for a hell of a long time. But we don't know where he is. The Baron's sick at the St. Carlo Clinic. Ah, oh, the poor guy. I'm sorry. You know, I'd like to go see him. He's in room 37, urology. Well, bring him a little fruit. Does a baron like oranges? How am I supposed to know? You can come up and see me. I've got an ulcer. <laughs> Eat yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> See, the lira's gone down again. That's terrible. I'll have to sell some more of my stocks, I guess. <laughs> Is anything wrong, my son? I'm scared, sister. Really scared to death. Would you like a little something to drink? No, I'm not thirsty, sister. Please, can't you get this dead man out of the ward? Why does he have to stay in here, anyway? Come now, my son. A dead man has never harmed anyone.
boss. This is Trentini. Are you receiving? Over. What's going on? Over. They've taken the Baron now. Two men. Over and out. Let's go. Let's get out of here. This ambulance sticks out like a sore thumb. Come on, Baron. Wake up now. <laughs> Wake up now. Hey. Hey, look at me. We met before, right? Huh? Come on, shithead. Remember me? You ripped off my briefcase. <laughs> I can't remember every client. What do you want? Now look, you're not doing yourself a favor with this attitude. You already know that uh, we don't play around. If you don't want to end up like your pals, you better tell me where you put the briefcase with the money. <laughs> the case? The what case? Oh, come on. Now you know which case. The case. You're too smart to have even tried to spend even one bill. <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. But if I do give it to you, who, who guarantees you let me go? Nobody. <laughs> but if I get it all back, that's your guarantee. Why should I want to kill you? After all, your friends would still be here if I'd gotten the money right away. Okay. I'll give you the briefcase. But we'll do it. We'll do it my way. Okay? But we'll go alone, you and me. The other fellows have got... I've got to wait. The other guys wait. Don't tell us how to do it. Go ahead and kill me then. I don't care anyway. What the fuck do I care? But you'll never see that door again. You can kiss that money goodbye. Let him go. All right, it's a deal. We'll do it your way. Tell him where to go. Take the Via Aurelia. Then I'll tell you. Okay, they drove past us right now. We'll be right behind them, so get ready, Nico. Over and out. What is this place? An abandoned metal foundry. No one comes out here anymore. Now look, we, we're gonna do what we've just said, right? These three guys here are all gonna get out of the car and wait outside. You and me, we're gonna go. But first, I gotta search you to make sure you've got no gun on you. No, hold it, don't get out. This son of a bitch is pulling a fast one. Me? What did I do? Uh, what did you do? Now, he said that you and I would go alone and they'd wait, but not outside the car. Why did you want them to get out? What do I know? I, I just said it because... I... Because. Because outside the car, they'd make a target. Inside the car, they're undercover. Hey, and the other ones would make a target. What do I know about targets? All right. All right, you son of a bitch. Look, if I'm wrong, nothing changes. We'll come back tomorrow or some other night. We'll, uh, we'll decide when. Turn the car around. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Second.
Christ's sake, don't let him get away.
Police! Stop! Get out! I need it! I gotta go to work! So do I. Hey, what the hell am I supposed to tell my boss anyway? You want me to get fired? I'd like to know the name of the man who just drove in the gate. What do you want to know for, anyway? I have something to talk to him about. The entrance for the public is down the road there. It's kind of early now. The office is still closed. The hours are from 9 until noon. And when you come back, I suggest you put on proper clothes. I will. But you still haven't told me what that man's name is. The one who just drove in? Mm -hmm. You're not pulling my leg now, are you? You want to talk to a man who works in the embassy, and you don't even know who he is. That's ridiculous. America was important, right? But didn't Columbus still go there without knowing what his name was? Now, listen here, you. You better clear out of here, understand? You're a brigadier, yes. right? Well, I happen to outrank you. Special Agent Giraldi. Sorry, sir. What's the name of that shithead? Sir, he's an American. You mean America doesn't have any shitheads? I'll come back later. Yes, come in. Yes, Richard Russo. And I thought I'd come here to talk to Mr. Norman Shelley. Either you're sitting on someone else's throne, or you got two names. One for the Hotel Byron, and one for the embassy. My name is Richard J. Russo. I don't know this, uh, Shelley? Mm. <laughs> Would you like to state the purpose of your visit? Here, I brought you this. Thank you. This belongs to my car. I lost it when I, uh... <laughs> I hit a lamppost. It's very kind of you to bring it. Where did you find it? In the sewer where you belong. Look, I'm uh, very busy. Would you mind leaving? What did you say? I said, would you mind leaving? Hmm. What is it, sir? You better call a doctor because Mr. Russo's got a terrific ache in the nets. Shall I get you something, sir? Nothing. Nothing. Well, actually, I'm pleased to know that all those black and blue marks I got when we went dancing at the crocodile that night served some purpose after they all. They sure did. Good. We were able to get an indictment on Shelley or Russo or whatever the hell his name but is. But I still don't understand what he had to do with this whole thing. He was the head of the ring, get it? The man who laundered the dollars. What do you mean? He took ransom money and used his diplomatic passport to send it to America or elsewhere. That five million we got was paid for young Zachary. Were you able to arrest the guy? No, they sent him back to the States. That's where they're going to put him on trial. They told me I might have to go over there to testify or something. I don't know. But will they let you into the States? I may have to change my underwear. <laughs> You better close her up tight, Sylvia. I always do. Say, I was wondering, that cock him off, jerk him off, whatever the fuck his name is. Kunyakov. Yeah. How does he plan to get you the manuscript? From what I understand, it's pretty explosive stuff. It's being flown in here today by a pilot who got it from him in Moscow. You can imagine the trouble we had arranging it. My boss had to spend a fortune, but we think it was worth it. 
Yeah, this Kulamov's a pretty courageous guy. He sure is. Ah, look, there he is. Kulamov? Oh, no, silly, the pilot. <laughs> you know, Nico, I'm really excited. Where's the manuscript? It's not here. They screwed you, eh? Uh huh. I should have expected it. Kunyakov's being watched by the police now. That's it. The police must have found out. You think the pilot screwed you? No, it's not possible. I know it. I think they must have switched it during the flight, or else they. Hey, Nico, right there, look! The man with the fur cap. Look, right there. Who is it, Kakalov? No, not Kunyakov. He's got the same kind of briefcase. He's leaving for Moscow. Oh. I'm afraid we've lost out. I'm gonna go. Nico. Come on, let's get going. What do you mean? I'm waiting here for a girl. Stop talking. Come on. Where are we going? Over there, we're gonna rob something. Say, it looks kind of interesting, but I don't understand a thing. It's all in Russian. But Nico, this must be... This is Kunyakov's. Well? How'd you get it? I robbed it. What do you think? Say, give me a kiss. <laughs> Darling, you're the nuttiest policeman in the world. Nothing at all. By the way, how were you able to get into my car? You didn't have the key. I opened the door. Tell me how you did it. Didn't I ever tell you I was once a crook? We worked pretty good together, huh? Tell about the time we robbed all those camembert cheeses.